Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about the deal made between the government, which was the People's National Party at the time, and China Harbor Engineering Company, where the government gave China Harbor Engineering Company 1,200 acres of prime real estate. And this is actually the property on the right that's part of the 1200 acres the 1200 acres run beside or the 1200 acres are beside the highway highway 2000 north south lake now i've heard a lot of people comment or a lot of people have commented that this was a bad deal but i don't think it was a bad deal i think it was an excellent deal as a matter of fact I think it was one of the best deals ever made by the government rebuilding of roads. Now, everybody can agree. This is the property on the right that we're looking at. Everybody can agree that Jamaica needs highways. Highways are expensive. So some of them are going to be toll roads. Now to drive from Kingston to Ocherius was like a two hour ordeal. You had to worry about traffic or an accident blocking Bog Walk, the gorge. Then you had to worry about if you're going to come across a truck on Mount Russell because then that two hour journey could turn into four hours or six hours. So the government decided to build a highway. Highway 2000. Actually, the property is on the left now. This is the land that is creating all the controversy. The land that China Harbor Engineering Company got. They got the land and they are now going to develop the land, put up some massive residential units because in this area the trend now is airbnb rentals not as much building hotels and so check who owns the land now wants to put up hotels so the government decided to build highway 2000 they this we're talking about from kingston to ocherius now because there was also the east west leg from kingston to montego bay we're talking about Kingston to Ocherius. Now, a company, Bold Travels Publix, got the contract to build Highway 2000. They started building the east west leg, built it, went great. But then they started to build the leg from Kingston to Ocherius and they ran into problems. They actually had to stop. Mm -hmm. Millions of US dollars were spent. Or millions was spent and they had to stop so Jamaica had this highway project on hold and remember now Jamaica needs the highways the French company said they couldn't finish the work and this is one of the largest contractors in the world probably the top 20 so the PMP government on the Porsche Simpson Mellon worked out a deal with China Harbor Engineering Company to come in and finish the highway. Now, China Harbor Engineering Company is one of the largest contractors in the world. They are top five. And depending on how you rank them, whether it's in terms of size or revenue, they could be top three. Massive company, billion dollar company. But guess what? This is where the deal that the PMP made now is so important for Jamaica. So we're going to go through the deal. Czech never bid on the original project. They were not interested in Jamaica. The Highway 2000 project, when it was originally put out to bid, Czech never submitted a bid. They were not interested. But because the PMP went to them 
they became interested in Jamaica. And we all know what China Harbor Engineering Company has done in Jamaica. So, and another reason why this deal is what the PMP did was so good is they got checked to pay for building the highway. Before, when it was the French company, Bogue, the government had to put in money, had to give a guarantor, a guarantee, standards guarantor, basically. They had to put in money. When the PMP negotiated with Czech, they never had to put in any money. As a matter of fact, Czech paid them back for the money that was spent on the Kingston to Ocherias Highway. They paid the French company back what they spent. They paid the Jamaican government back what they spent. And they said they will finance the project. They will deal with the implementation. Basically, they would do everything. That was a masterful deal. So under the agreement, Jamaican government makes no financial investment in the highway. Government gives no loan guarantees, no revenue guarantees, and no traffic guarantees. This is the north-south, like the Kingston to Ocherius. Unheard of. This was a masterful deal, and Jamaica has benefited from it. Now, this arrangement was not done with the other leg of the highway, that goes from Kingston to Mandeville now and will eventually go to Montego Bay. So this is why that deal made by the Porsche Simpson Miller administration was was brilliant. I, I, I don't think people fully understand how good a deal it was when people say that leave all these comments. So we're just going through the deal. Now, the project was financed by loans from the China Development Bank and equity provided by China Harbor Engineering Company. Now, the original cost of the highway was 600 million US dollars. It was, I think it eventually ended up costing 800 million US dollars. It was the largest capital expenditure project in Jamaican history. And I think in the Caribbean as a whole. Books have been written about this, this, this thing. It worked well. Now, what did China Harbor Engineering Company ask for in return for doing all of this? The government was to give similar incentives provided but to Trans-Jamaica Highway. Those are the ones who did the east-west leg. Meaning, Check would be given a concession, but the concession on the other road was 35 years. The concession on this road would be 50 years because this road would not have as much traffic as the other road. And Check said, give us 1,200 acres of land beside the highway. And the government said, yes, Jamaica benefited. The highway was built. Check did the financing, the design, the constructing, and they have the concession to collect toll on the highway. Masterful deal. Jamaica benefited. Now, the Jamaican government told Check, you have to develop this land, build on it, and you have a time frame in which to do it. They said you cannot sell the land, you cannot use it as a guarantee for a loan. You have to develop it. Now remember when this was being done. The highway was not built yet. When they arranged this. This agreement was done. The highway was not built yet. So that area. Miami Bay. Draxall. Richmond. They didn't exist. So now that the highway was built. Draxall is now the fastest growing community in Jamaica. Uh, there is no land left in Miami Bay to develop because it's fully developed. Richmond ha is the, has the nicest development you will find, not only in Jamaica, but the Caribbean Richmond estates. The entire North Coast is booming with activity. 
I mean, it was a game changer. If that highway was not built, none of this would happen at such a fast pace, if at all. Now, the deal was done, the highway was built, and Czech was given the land. Now, all of a sudden, when Czech is going to build on the land, you're hearing about the environment, you're hearing about EIA, you're hearing about all of this. But that should have been done if there was a problem with environment. It should have been discussed when the deal was being signed because Czech has to develop the land or the land goes back to the Jamaican government. Now, I'm all for the environment, but you can't let the environment stop progress. Now, if the, 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 the one environmental concern that I think is one major concern is they are saying if they develop this land it's going to affect Dunn's River Falls. Now if that is true then nothing should interfere with Dunn's River Falls but you also have people who say it's not going to affect Dunn's River Falls so we'll talk about that in another video but the fact that this deal was done I think it's one of the best deals ever made in Jamaica. Can you imagine getting a foreign company who was not interested in Jamaica to come and not only come to come and spend 800 million US dollars with no revenue guarantee, no traffic guarantee, no guarantees. That I think is one of the greatest deals ever done in Jamaica. And that was done by Portia Simpson Miller and her administration. So guys, now that you have all the facts, what do you think? I think it was an excellent deal and Czech came and Czech stayed. Czech is now the number one contractor in Jamaica. And they have done so well that other contractors are coming to Jamaica. I think if some of them are amongst the, the largest contractor in the world is coming. The second largest contractor in the world is coming. And another, and other massive contractors, one of the largest contractors in Canada is coming. One of the largest contractors in the UK is coming. Jamaica is open for business. Everybody wants to do business in Jamaica. And guess what? Hotels, roads, you name it, every road in Jamaica. Every area, I should say, has some sort of development going on. And it all ties back to this deal. Because I'm sure Czech has, is making, they wouldn't be losing money and still investing in Jamaica. So this was an excellent deal done by Portia Simpson Miller and her administration. All right, guys, thanks for taking a tour with us today. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Have a good deal. Have a good day.